What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you concerning Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn has stated that Tyson Fury has messaged him the other day to talk about an AJ fight. Eddie Hearn has responded and to informed Tyson Fury the quickest way to make the fight for Fury against Joshua is to call me. Me and AJ will come around, see Tyson, and get it done in five minutes. You know, of course, I'll send you the link in the description box. And I'm just looking at how unstable or spontaneous, that's the better word for it, that the heavyweight division is right now and the choices that fighters can make. See, everyone has an option, you know. But despite what you hear with Deontay Wilder and, you know, his claims on Joe Rogan, I just finished that that description and actually I'm loaded that now. But regardless of what you hear, we won't know until someone signs the contract. This just verifies that Tyson Fury's camp, which, you know, Fury is interested in those other belts. Sure, he fought for the WBC. He drawed for that belt. But those other belts that he once had that Anthony Joshua has right now, I feel and I know he feels that he's entitled more to those belts because they were once in his possession. OK, so I would think that he has a better desire or an equal desire, more likely to go after those belts that Joshua has on top of the money. If he was giving all his money to charity anyway, which was a few million dollars, OK, I think he's looking to come back because he knows he's proved himself for the sport of boxing. All the naysayers, including uh, Hearn, including including a lot of people, you know, that he could even compete at a certain level, not alone get a draw and in, in, in a lot of people's eyes win the fight. OK, so. We're looking at these guys, they're talking, they're discussing. You know. And we really just have to see. What transpires? What really transpires? Because people are going to talk. But, you know, to certain people in certain demographics, these type of discussions ain't even happening. You know what I mean? Tyson Fury, what is he doing talking to Eddie Hearn? He's talking to Eddie Hearn because regardless of what people say, again, oh, Anthony Joshua's finished. Anthony Joshua's desperate. Anthony Joshua looks bad. You know, it's a bad look for Anthony Joshua and all this. It's a bad sign and all these things that you hear. Now, you still hear talks from Tyson Fury contacting Eddie Hearn. If he wasn't or if, if Anthony Joshua was so frozen out, there, wasn't be, there wouldn't be talks going on between Tyson Fury and Eddie Hearn. Okay, it'd be a big wall. It would be a cold war. It would be something that you don't even hear about. You know what I mean? It would be propaganda, you know, and Eddie Hearn is saying that, you know, a lot of people would doubt Eddie Hearn, but a lot of people have doubted Eddie Hearn before, you know, in, 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 in uh, forms of fights getting made. He says he can make this fight in five minutes. So that just shows you how quick and how people are not messing around anymore. The best fight should get made and the best war is a negotiation war. You know what I mean? What would be better for Fury? Joshua? Or Wilder. Now he could say, hey, I already beat Wilder. I have nothing to prove to Wilder anymore. If he don't let me fight in the UK, why would I want to do that? He may or may not do that. You know, that's, you know, that's a decision he can make. That's one decision. Another scenario would be, let me take on Joshua. Let me get the money. Then I'm even bigger. Now Deontay Wilder has to come to my backyard because I have all the belts because I just dethroned Anthony Joshua where Anthony Joshua re-dethroned Vladimir Klitschko after I dethroned him. OK, does that make sense? So if Fury has options, Fury can. I can understand why Fury would be interested in those belts, because then he could get those belts and get those belts that are rightfully his back. Fight like hell for those belts. Have a huge showdown in Wembley, Right. In the 80, 90, 100,000 people is going to show up. Right. If he wins, then what? Deontay Wilder. Now he has the unfinished business with him. Now come on to over to my backyard and fight me. OK. And I got all the concessions and it won't be a Wilder. Fury is going to be a Fury Wilder. So, yes, this changes the game completely. 
you know, and I knew it was more to what one side states. Wilder, oh, they're begging for a fight. They're desperate and all this and the LDBC and all these people and they with their narratives and they want people to believe that shit. But there's always people negotiating. This is business. This ain't a game, okay? This ain't had nothing to do with what side of the street you're on. No, no. Money talks and bullshit runs a marathon. So saying all that to say this, people are talking. The birds are chirping and things will eventually get made. Now, what really gets made, we will see. Okay, but don't believe one side without seeing all sides. That's what I'm getting at. You guys tell me what you think about this article about this new reported news. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.